First, really, it's, it's to be under, my position is to be understood from within, and this is why I said you sometimes have to, uh, uh, to decenter yourself from your own universe and reference and to enter within the universe of reference of the other. For example, as a Muslim, what I'm saying is, yes, I know, for example, that for some Muslims it was too much. It was, it, I was modernizing Islam and selling out. And for Westerners it was not enough. It should have been condemned. And my position is this one. Look, when you come to the text, you will find text dealing with death penalty in the Quran and the prophetic tradition, uh, dealing with corporal punishment, the Quran and the prophetic tradition, and stoning in the uh, uh, prophetic tradition only. I come to, to with this text, and I cannot deny that there are texts. Now my position is, look, there is a problem here because the content of the text, we don't agree on it. The conditions to implement this text, we don't agree on it. The context within which this has to be implemented, we don't agree on it. So now there is a deep uh, uh, discussion to open on what are the texts saying, what are the conditions, in which context. So, while we open this discussion, we stop everything because the conditions are not respected and we all know that, that today what is done with this penal code is to be used against the poor and the women. It's not, so, it's not something which is just respecting the slightest uh, uh, dimension of justice. It's pure injustice and betrayal of the Islamic teaching. So I'm talking as a Muslim scholar to Muslim scholars telling them, come and have open a discussion and be courageous enough to say that the way we are dealing with this today, we are silent because we are scared to say the truth and just even to, 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 to promote a better understanding of our religion. So what we have to do now is, you know, as Amnesty International is doing it in your country, in the States, they are asking for a moratorium on death penalty in some states because they know that uh, it's, they cannot just stop it now So because the people are not going towards abolition. So in order to open a debate, we first take this decision. My position is that they are not implementable. But I want the Muslims to open a discussion from within and while we have this discussion, the best is a moratorium. But let me tell you something for those who think it's not enough. It's easy to be in the States and to say, I'm against it, but you're not changing the mentality. But when you challenge the people on their own understanding of their own scriptural source and they say, look, the way you are reading this is wrong because you are just reading it literally without respecting the conditions. And it means that you are killing poor and women because they are poor and women and you are not just respecting the rights. This is not Islamic. You are challenging them in their own terms of reference and they can understand this. But to say I condemn because I think it's not right, it's against human rights, and you talk to the people from outside the universe of reference, they are not going to listen. And by the way, in Morocco I went, I talked to 40 uh, uh, scholars in Jordan, exactly the same in, in, in Indonesia, and now I'm in, in, in discussing this with some uh, scholars in Pakistan, and they understand it from within. It takes time, but it is the only way to change mentalities. So, let us be deep in our discussion, patient in, in, as to the results, but committed as to the process.